Hi, this is David Grissom. Today I want to talk to you about my song, Way Down Deep, which is the title song for my third CD. And uh, it involves a lot of techniques. Um, if you saw my last lesson on uh, Lucy G using uh, drone strings, that it, it, it's the same kind of uh, idea applies here, as, along with hybrid picking. And um, it is a song that sort of came about, um, I practice a lot on acoustic guitar, and I listen to a lot of bluegrass music, and I did growing up, especially, uh, especially Norman Blake and Doc Watson. And um, it's probably sacrilege to bluegrass purists that I'm using this tone on, on and, and equating it with bluegrass, but I've sort of uh, never been shy about mixing styles up, and, th and that's where this approach for me started um, just the way, the way it uh, kind of came to me when I think I started playing this, this song on an acoustic guitar when I was writing it. But here's the lick. I'll play uh, through the, the opening riff and then the uh, second part of the intro as well, which also occurs at the end of every verse under the chorus. It goes like this. Right at the verse, right there. So, the first, uh, again, this is using uh, hybrid picking, and for the most part, it's just using the middle finger. But the very first note of uh, the very first notes of the song are just picking the open G and the D with the middle finger and the ring finger. And from that point, it just goes um, to using the middle finger and the pick. So it gives it a certain sound um, that you can't get by using a pick. And if you're just new to if you're new to hybrid picking, something something as simple as just playing two strings at a time open, not necessarily even you don't even have to fret anything, but it's just getting comfortable with that is a good way to sort of start getting used to using both fingers, at, uh, which really is an indispensable technique. And certainly, without without this technique, I couldn't play half of my songs. I couldn't improvise the way I do. I couldn't do half of what I do. So. It's a, it's a, I sound like a broken record talking about hybrid picking sometimes, but it is really that important to me. So I'll try to slow the lick down and uh, talk through it. One more time. So these things are sometimes easier to play a little faster, but there's a lot, as you can see, there's a lot of sliding. Uh, it's not, not every single note is picked. Right there. with my favorite F chord of all time, and it's uh, an F add nine times two. The add nine is, is, is the G that appears twice in this chord. It's also the F chord that I use in What Passes for Love. And to play that chord, you fret the F with your thumb, and then let your thumb hang over, muting the A string. F with your third string, with your third finger. Open G string. First finger frets the C, and then your fourth finger frets the G. And 
And again, no no effects except a little slap back. That's just the, that's the amp overdrive. It's just my PRS 30 watt amp turned about halfway up. <laughs> Right, and this middle part here. Again, using that drone, which is the tonic, it's a G, the song's in G, and that's a G, I can play any lick and add that in to give it weight and to make it sound fatter. So I can play notes above it, below it, uh, all the, any, any permutation of that technique. The second half of the lick, which also occurs under the chorus, and uh, is the end, the second half of the intro, and also re reoccurs throughout the song, is this lick. And that is just um, pick and middle finger. And every time I'm hitting the, the open G with my middle finger, I'm picking a note underneath it. So on that last chord there, I am playing, it's a C chord, but there's no third in it. Big, a very common thing for me. It's a, a to leave the third out of the chord, especially with overdriven tones. Um, the tuning is much tighter and uh, the harmonic, when all the harmonics are blooming with, with the overdrive, it, it seems to be a more pleasing sound to me. And so what I'm playing there is I'm sort of, I'm, I'm fingering the, the G as well, but the main part of the chord is the, The C with the fourth finger on the third fret, hanging over to mute the fourth string, and I'm fretting the C with my first finger on the second string, first fret, and just again picking the low C and playing the C and the G with my middle and my ring finger. So the G is still ringing from the previous lick, and it just adds, you know, having the five or the in the in the root just gives it a little more weight. But the bass player is going to be playing a C over that that chord. <laughs> So from the top, I'm 